For this project, we are going to push the main press switch and the lamp will come on. Then we will hold down the momentary switch and the fan will turn on. Now when we hit the holding down the momentary switch, we will turn off the main press switch and the lamp and fan both shut off together. Even if you hold down the momentary switch, you could pretend that the momentary switch is a switch for any electrical device in your home like a fan and the 62 press switch is a circuit breaker switch. Regardless of whether or not the main switch is on, neither of the devices can work if the circuit breaker switch is off. That's the basic principle of an electrical circuit in your house in that the circuit breaker switch overrides the main one. This circuit is going to give another example of an OR gate. We will turn on the press switch and both the fan and lamp come on. Now I'm going to turn off the press switch and hold down the momentary switch. Again, the fan and lamp both come on. This circuit reflects the OR principle in electronics in that you can use either switch to turn on the components. You could think of this type of circuit in your house as there may be multiple, at least two switches that control a single device, such as a lamp or a fan. But that isn't usually the case because in that instance, you would need to have both switches off in order for the lights to turn off. You would have three-way switches in your home not a circuit like this. This circuit is going to give another example of an AND gate. This will demonstrate the AND principle in electronics. We're going to push the main press switch and nothing happens. Hold down the momentary switch and the fan and lamp both come on. Now let's say I was to turn off to leave the momentary switch on but turn off the press switch. Both components turn off. In a circuit like this, both switches need to be on in order for the components to work because the circuit is wired in series. This circuit demonstrates yet another example of the AND gate except it is a three switch circuit and the project is titled three person rocket launch and you'll find out where that title comes from. There are three switches, the press switch, the momentary switch, and the read switch. Now, press one switch, nothing happens. Hold down the momentary switch with the press switch on, again, nothing comes on. However, with the momentary switch held down and the press switch on, place the magnet on the read switch, and the lamp and LED both come on. This circuit simulates a real-life rocket launch pad in which, let's say, there are three different people far apart who have to each hit a switch in order to allow the rocket to launch. That way, if someone was to accidentally activate their switch, the rocket will not automatically take off. Although it might be too late by the time the rocket is fired up. In this circuit, if you turn off one switch, like the momentary switch, the whole circuit will stop working. Project 44, Siren, uses a couple new components that we have not discussed yet. They are the integrated circuit, number 11, and the speaker, 93. We will turn on the press switch. And now, please turn down your volume because this might be a little loud, but when I do so, a siren sound will be produced. Here we go. The speaker makes a police car siren sound, even though technically the integrated circuit is producing the sound. The speaker makes it audible. Integrated circuits allow complex circuits to be contained within a very small device like this one. 
and integrated circuits are used in electronics all the time because they are less expensive. They use materials like silicon that form the basic structure of this component. Project 45 requires us to modify the preceding circuit a little bit, and you can see that we've included the touch plate. We also inserted a three-wire across in order to make a new connection to the integrated circuit. Now when I hit the touchpad, you will hear a gunshot sound. Now if I was to tap the touchpad consecutively, you will hear what sounds like a machine gun because there are lots of shots being fired one after another at a very fast rate. Sound technicians use electronics like this on the job. For Project 46, space battle sounds, we will turn on the press switch and then hold down the momentary switch and we should hear what sounds like a space war or a space battle. The sound might resemble that of a laser gun or spaceship firing. And the integrated circuit produces these sounds when the four wire is connected directly across it. It grounds the 1 slash 02 pin and in electronics, this kind of input is known as an active low, something I did not know until just now. For this project, we are going to turn the integrated circuit into a music box. When we push the press switch, the speaker will play music. And the song sounds very familiar. Can you guess what it is that is being played? You guessed it, it's the happy birthday song. The integrated circuit stores this song in an electronic format so that it can be played by the speaker. The music might remind you of that of an old fashioned video game, at least it does for me. And now the music is electronically generated and that it is often checked by a qualified professional to make sure that the quality of the audio is good before the integrated circuit is put along with the rest of the components in the kit. We are now going to introduce the fire engine siren. When I hit the press switch, a police siren sounds, but when I hold down the momentary switch, we hear a siren like that from the fire truck. Now what's interesting is that a siren like this is designed by an engineer to cover a large spectrum of sound so all people, even those who have hearing problems, can hear it. For this circuit, we're going to use the touch plate and we will get to hear all the sound effects from the integrated circuit. Hitting the press switch turns on the police car siren Hitting the momentary switch activates the fire siren, and then holding your finger on the touch plate produces machine gun sounds. So hitting each switch will produce a particular sound. Press switch, police siren. Momentary switch, fire siren. Touch switch, machine gun sounds. Now what's interesting is that even though if you remember if you've seen Project 30 in which I used the touch plate and I was not able to make the LED very bright, the touch plate works very well in this project because input T2, which the touch plate is connected to, is a low impedance input, meaning that it has a very low opposition to current flow.